Benefi CodeSign Protect, part of the Benefi control plane for machine identities, secures enterprise code signing processes by providing centralized and secure key storage, along with role-based access control and policy enforcement. Providing developers with agility and freedom of choice by fitting into existing workflows, CodeSign Protect reduces the burden on development teams by integrating with the tools and processes they already use. In this video, we'll be talking about one specific use case, signing container images. There are typically three parts to consider. First, software developers write code that is submitted to a build system. Second, the build system, which includes Venify's code signing client, signs and pushes the compiled container image to a container registry. Last, a container orchestration tool such as Kubernetes pulls and verifies the image signature before it runs the container. Let's assume the code has already been submitted to the build system, and we need to sign and push the image to the container registry. Here we're logged into Venify CodeSign Protect and have access to a container signing project. CodeSign Protect projects are used to govern the use of private code signing keys. Projects include one or more code signing environments. Environments can be production or non-production, and use a variety of backends to include ones where signing keys are stored in a hardware security module. Code signing projects also allow you to define approvals that must be granted before a signing can take place using a given private key. This makes sure that private code signing keys are only used by authorized systems based on policy. With most organizations, a variety of approval flows are needed to account for the various levels of trust and security demanded by different projects or different phases of projects. To begin the signing process, we're going to use a container image signing utility, CoSign. We'll also be using a Kubernetes admission controller to verify and enforce container image signatures, in this case, Caverno. While we'll be signing manually during this technical demonstration, in most implementations, this process will be highly or fully automated. Here's the syntax for how to use CoSign to sign the container with the code signing certificate we've created within Venify CodeSign Protect. We'll issue the CoSign sign command with the key flag specifying the location of the code signing key we want to use, followed by the location of the container image we want to sign, in this case on the GitHub container registry, ghcr.io. As you can see in this example, we are using a PKCS11 compatible token for signing the sample image. This key name is obtained from Venify Code Sign Protect. Once the image is signed, the signature is uploaded to the container registry, as you can see from the GitHub UI here. Once configured, it's fast and secure to incorporate the signing process directly into the software development process. We've signed the image, uploaded a tag to GitHub that proves the image is signed, and the whole process was done securely. Now that the container has been signed and pushed to the container registry, it needs to be pulled and verified before being deployed to the container orchestration tool. A Caverno config map and cluster policy make this happen by specifying a trusted certificate and certificate chain. In this case, we're using a Microsoft Certificate Authority. The policy is applied to the cluster, and when we try to run the container signed by an unapproved issuer, Caverno denies the request because it was unable to verify the image. But when we try to run the signed version, the container gets created. The Caverno engine is running, downloads the container signature, checks the container signature against the certificate chain, and admits the container into the cluster. In the logs, we can see the image verification first failed, then succeeded. As you can now see, using Venify CodeSign Protect, your organization can both sign and deploy containers securely as part of your software supply chain. We invite you to sign up for a code signing maturity assessment where a Venify code signing expert will evaluate your current code signing standards and policies and provide you with detailed recommendations and best practices. Schedule your free assessment today. Still have questions? Turn to Venify, the machine identity experts. Check out our channel or visit venify.com to learn about all things encryption, certificate management, and more.